Hey, what's going on? Blessings to you. This is Jerome Shaw. I'm with my brother. Joshua Robinson. King Josh Robinson. King Josh Robinson. <laughs> and we're over here today just bringing a message. And today we want to talk about fasting. Now, recently you've been on a fast. Well, actually, you do two times a week, you said? Two times a week. How did you get into that routine and that uh, regimen? And what have you found that it's given for you? Um... You know, first you, you identify things with yourself mm -hmm. and uh, how your body responds to certain things you put in your body. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was always, you know, interested in forms of uh, elevating myself physically. Mm -hmm. So I, I just I just knew that, you know, there has to be some type of break. Mm -hmm. And I always knew that if you, uh, if you eat at certain times in the night, that your uh, organs are not getting the chance to rest as, as your, the rest of your body does. So. For sure. You know, I, I just first I started out with, you know, trying to shut it down a little bit early. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday and Sunday came into play. It was like, well, you know, why don't I just give myself a break on the weekends? Mm -hmm. I break from working out. I break from, you know, we break from work. Yeah. So I was like, you know, let's let's try this uh, this Irish style fast, as they like to label it. Okay. Where you just drink water throughout, throughout the day. Okay. And then uh, you consume your food at night. Yeah. So, you know, I, I got into that and I've been doing that for like a year and a half now. Man. And, uh, Man, bro, yeah. it's really it's really you know taking my body to another level because mm -hmm. you know when I go into the week, uh, I'm feeling refreshed, I'm mm -hmm. feeling uh, rejuvenated mm -hmm. and uh, recalibrated as well. Mm -hmm. My um, the inside of my body doesn't feel like it's exhausted, right? You know, so like it's not working so hard, so it's not like tired. Man, bro, okay. you know, you, we digesting, we digesting. You know, I know that you 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 on liquid, mm -hmm. you liquid base, but I still eat solids. Mm -hmm. So my body con is constantly working on trying to break everything down and, and distribute where it needs to and, and right. send the waste where it's supposed to go. Right. So I, you know, I was like, man, I'm just gonna give myself a break on on Saturdays and Sundays, mm -hmm. man, and just you know, rest just, on the seventh just day, re rest on yeah, you know, yeah. Saturday, just rest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just uh, just yeah. just let everything just pl play its role. Uh, you know, let the, let my organs, let my everything inside just get its chance to get away from mm -hmm. from all that digestion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With this message, you know, for people who, you know, there's so many people, especially in my family or even in my my circles, my groups, even my parents, who are afraid to even go one day without eating. Mm. You know. Um, what message would you have for people who they're, they're looking for like, well, what's the incentive? What's the payoff? What's the benefit? You know, how do you kind of get that message across to people to let them know that it's, it's okay to take a break. It's okay. All right. For one, you're not going to die. Yeah. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. We can, we can go like almost a week, a week and a half without mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. If you're used to eating, mm -hmm. uh, for two, like. There's, it's, it's more to life than just food consumption. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think we we're in this um, this scheduling this this routine that that we're supposed to eat at this certain time. We're supposed to have meat with this certain meal. Right, right. Um, as soon as you wake up, you're supposed to consume something because you need energy. Right, breakfast, uh, yeah, breakfast yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know we got to get out of those those habits of mm -hmm. feeling like that that we need to uh, have food every day or we need to have a full stomach every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think once that we, we break those break those chains and actually get more in control of actually where we want to mm -hmm. place ourselves, because a lot of people want to be in a better place, but mm -hmm. you know they don't have the discipline or just the, the built up uh, habit to uh, right. play, put themselves in that in that routine of life. Right. So, you know, I, I say you start with a routine, mm -hmm. start with a routine, um, you know, most people like to do intermediate fasting mm -hmm. where they, they fast till like 1 p.m. and yeah. they, they have their food or whatever. You start with a routine and then once you get the routine going, you implement the, the proper the proper uh, tools and, and steps within that routine. So, you know, if you know there's meat eaters out there and there's um, pescatarians, there's mm -hmm. people who eat solids, there's people like yourself who, who are doing the liquid base mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So once you get that routine down, um, you use the right use the right uh, outlets. Okay. Like instead of like for me, I stop eating meat. So okay. once I break my fast, I put fruit in my body. Right. Because that's the that's okay. the, uh, fruit is very beneficial to breaking up breaking a fast. Mm -hmm. um, yo yo, it, it immediately goes straight to the uh, to the benefits of, of of your body, the mm -hmm. muscles, the uh, the cells, mm -hmm. your molecular. Everything is going to benefit off of throwing that fruit in there mm -hmm. immediately. Um, you know, 
you, like I said, you're not gonna die if you right. miss food. Like you don't, you don't have to eat every day. Like, and like you said, there's so many concepts too that we've been programmed. I was programmed, you know, under the the government of, you know, you hear the what is it? Uh, the breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Mm -hmm. We used to be drilled into that. I remember seeing a lot of commercials. Um, you know, talking about cereal and breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then also, like you said, being full all the time. Mm -hmm. There was a feeling that I had to have my stomach kind of distended or, or I wouldn't feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I couldn't push my plate away. I had to eat it all. I had to finish it all. Yeah. And there was even sayings in my family, like Jamaican sayings, eat till you belch. No, or yeah. like, eat till you burp. Or eat till, you know what I mean? You're, you're just, you can't have any more. Yeah. And so that kind of programmed me into the feeling like I wasn't done until the plate was clean. Oh, wow. So, you know, to have to kind of break those barriers and break those beliefs is big, you yes, know? Yes, it is big. Yeah. And, I, and uh, you know, like you said, it's a, it's a concept. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're not supposed to live to eat. You eat to live. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, you're not supposed to be full. You just eat to satisf satisfaction. Okay. So you eat, you eat to quench your hunger you don't eat to fill your belly wow you know so <laughs> you don't you don't want those those are, those are some things that are mm -hmm. have deep misconceptions mm -hmm. because you know america struggles with obesity yeah um you know a lot of people have underlying illnesses due to habits mm -hmm. uh a lot of cancers are developed through food consumption mm -hmm. and not running in the family yeah um so yeah but one of my mentors likes to say i like how you said that he said um he said, no, it doesn't run in your family. It's because no one was running in the family. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man. And, it's, and, it, and look, look, no one was running in the family. And that's big because yeah. uh, bad habits, bad habits are, are generational. Man. Bad habits are generational. We have wow. cultural bad habits as well. Okay. Like, you know, where, you know, certain cultures just, they have these delicacies and that, you know, that are might be tasty or might be fond of, but they're not conducive to health. Right. You know, yeah. and... Man, bro, I think once we can break those routines and, and break those, uh, you know, those generational habits, I think we'll be more open mm -hmm. to uh, new enlightenment when it comes to fasting, mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, understanding that you don't have to eat every day, right. when, it, when it comes to, uh, you know, putting the right things into your body, because our body is a, it's, a, it's an amazing vessel, mm -hmm. man. It's uh, a temple. It, it yeah. can do, oh, man, the body, the human body can do everything. You know, people can stretch out to... 600 pounds that's people, amazing you know what i'm saying we talking about that and everything is still working yeah you know what i'm saying then they can they can shrink down to where they need to be mm -hmm. and everything's still working yeah and strength strength is within we mm -hmm. all know that mm -hmm. so you got people you know what i'm saying that might be 150 pounds mm -hmm. stronger than people that might be 400 pounds you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. that's just how it is i you know it's mind over matter that's mm -hmm. that's a real that's a real thing yeah and once once you you know you control your mind a lot of people are not realization that they're not controlling their minds man and, and, and you know, and it, it, it's a touchy su subject and a touchy topic because if you was to, if you was to uh, bring that to their attention, mm -hmm. it, it can be, it become a defensive matter. Yeah. So I, I think that you know, you want, once you are fully in control of your thoughts, fully in control of your mind, mm -hmm. and and, and let, let's let's be honest, I don't think you're gonna ever one thousand percent. There might be a half a percent that you might not be in control of your thoughts because our minds are. Or interesting, interesting engines mm -hmm. like they, they they can operate while we're sleeping, mm -hmm. while we're in realm sleep, right. and they create movies it's and, always on. and whole whole different uh, um, uh, different um, aspects of thinking right. just simply off of your what what you retain through your retinas, right. you know what you see, what you experience, and then mm -hmm. when you go to rest, it creates a whole nut new world. Absolutely, like, and, and you know that's another another story because sometimes I believe that. Mm -hmm. We're living in the dream world, and when we go to sleep, that's the real world. Yeah, but you yeah. know, that's a whole other thing. But you know, yeah. just the uh, the fasting tip is, man, bro. People gotta get in control of get in control of who they want to be and where they want to be because mm -hmm. you know we can we can all have a, a a comforting conversation about you know our goals and and our aspirations, but mm -hmm. you know it takes that it takes that initiative to actually execute on on those things that that we we speak on that, right. that makes us feel so good because. You know what's what's good of a feeling if there's no action behind it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All of this is just a, it's just an idea. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think I think fasting I think fasting is essential. Okay. I think every human being on this planet should fast okay. in, in their own capacity. Mm -hmm. I think that once people adopt fasting, they will adopt growth. Wow. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because you know, there's no there's no true growth in overindulgence. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you're overly indulging in thing and mm -hmm. you're you're saturating your body with, with so much work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I, that's what it is. Yeah. Our, our body's working, constantly Always. working. Always. What it does do, it, it shuts down, it quits, it mm -hmm. puts in a two weeks notice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going on, bro. Like, see you. Yeah, man, I'm cool off this. I'm yeah. not trying to work for you no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm clocking out. I'm clocking out. Yeah, yeah. People are checking out, bro. Yeah. People are checking out. Yeah. Every, every day. Yeah. Off of, off of, Habitual things, yeah. you know what I'm like saying? Like you said, overindulgence. So, overindulgence, man. man. Thank you for this message. Like, thank you for you know spreading awareness. Thank you for you know showing people what can be done. Yeah. You know, because people, a lot of people don't believe that. Not only do they are they skeptical of what can be done, but what they themselves can do. Absolutely. So thank you for being a testimony. Oh, man. You know, I would try to lead message. by example. I don't. You know, I, I do, I do, I do run my mouth sometimes on certain things because you got to bring it to people's attention. They won't know unless you you, let, you enlighten enlighten right. them. But right. you know, I try to be, I try to be that that walking testimony, that mm -hmm. that walking, that walking, whatever you want to call it, yes, sir. inspiration yeah. or trigger or whatever mm -hmm. you need to, mm -hmm. to to get on the path. I, I want to be that. Yes, sir. To, to help, yes, add sir. value. You yes, know. Sir. All right. So much love. Thank y'all for listening. I trust you got value from this and just, you know, take some nuggets of wisdom from this message. We'll be back. We'll be back. Till next time. Much Absolutely. love. Absolutely. Big love.